Excel has a very important function called Goal Seek. And in this screencast, we're going to show you how to use it. And what we're going to use as an example are two children that are on a seesaw. And one is heavier than the other. And what you need to find is how far should the heavier kid sit from the balance point so that he is perfectly balanced with his friend. And in this particular screencast, you can assume that the weight of the seesaw is negligible. Here we have that the blue kid has a mass of 54 kilograms and the yellow has a mass of 45 kilograms. And if you notice here, at this point in our initial analysis, both of them are equidistant from the center of the seesaw, or two meters. However, what this does is it creates an imbalance in the forces. The blue kid has a force of 1,058.4 newtons, while the smaller yellow kid has a force of 882 newtons. In order for this to be balanced, those two forces have to equal each other. One way that you could do it is keep changing this distance here because it's part of our formula for force where the force is the mass times gravity times the distance. So what we could do is keep changing this until we get so these two forces are equal. However, there's an easier way to do that, and that's what's known as goal seek. We go into our what if analysis, and we look at goal seek. And if you notice here, goal seek has three inputs. And here, what we want to do is set this cell here, F16, to the value that the yellow kid has for force, with it, which is 882. And what cell are we going to change? Well, the cell that we're going to change is the distance. So this is the distance from the center that the blue kid would have to sit to balance out. And then all you do is click OK. And if you notice, both the forces are the same. And the distance here has changed to 1.7 meters. Now, let's cancel this and look at a different scenario. Why did we choose the blue rather than the yellow? Let's take a look, and instead what we're going to do here, what if analysis, goal seek here, now what we're going to do is set this cell equal to the value of 1058.4 by changing the yellow's distance. And we hit OK. And what's the problem with that? Well, the problem is if you look at the distance, it's 2.4 meters from the center, which means that the yellow kid is off the seesaw. Let's go back one more time and show you how to do it correctly. Goal seek, we want to set this cell equal to the value of 882, which is what the force of the yellow kid is, by changing the distance from the center. OK, and now we have both this and this force equal.